Hello and welcome to Moody Blooms. I'm Mary Ellen. And I'm Heather, and I'm new to succulents. I wanted to garden at my new home, and I don't have time for it. I have four little kids, and I bought these new planters for my house. She's gonna help me put these together at my new house that she helped me get. We're gonna start with some well-draining soil and fill up these pots. Let's get started. Let's do it. So I like to go ahead and put a coffee filter in the bottom of my pots, and you can go ahead and cut these if you need to, but this one actually fits perfectly. And so we do that to go ahead and stop the soil from draining on the bottoms. We're gonna go ahead and pour the soil in the pots. So I have all of our succulents laid out ready to go. Since these are gonna go in front of the door, off to the side, I'm gonna put a larger one to the back. Gently put it in there. And then just start placing your succulents. I'm taking off any dead leaves and then any of the soil that's loose around the edges. Just kind of gently fill that in. Push it down so there's not any air pockets. So this is one of the succulents that Heather picked up. And what I like to do is I like to take any of the good salvageable leaves, we can go ahead and propagate those. Sometimes you'll notice in here, there'll be a new little plant starting on the edge of these leaves. They'll actually grow a new baby. So we'll get off all the dead on there. So we have a nice, healthy plant. And then what I like to do is separate these. So just gently kind of tug them apart, try to get as much root as you can. Take off some of the excess potting soil because we want the cactus soil. And we'll want to leave a little bit of space in between if that's the look you're going for, just so that they have room to grow. We'll want to mix it up with different colors if we can. Love the colors with that pot. It looks so pretty. The next thing I like to do is have a little toothbrush or paintbrush or this is I think a little um, eyeshadow brush to get off any of the excess dirt. So this little brush helps me get some of the excess soil that's kind of sitting on some of the leaves. That way we don't knock any of the leaves off. So I'm gonna add some rocks around. I'm gonna cover up the soil, help with the drainage. and keep those leaves nice and dry when the soil's wet. Okay, so Marilyn, I need your help on how to do this on my own. Now I've watched her once, now you gotta tell me what to do. So go ahead and just dig a small hole and gently place the succulent in and just pat the soil down. Okay, now go ahead and grab the next succulent. And honestly, you can't go wrong. Any succulent will work. I'll take a hole again. Yeah, just a small little hole. Don't be jealous of my sexy gloves. Put those two together or separate I'll those? I'll separate them just because you have a lot of okay. variety. Lots of beautiful colors and textures to choose from, so we definitely want to mix it up a bit. succulent you'll see there's a little pouch of babies. Those cute little babies will grow into a new full-grown plant so go ahead and leave those. Okay. This is literally my first time planting anything ever. Really? I'm feeling like a woman today. <laughs> up some of the soil that's in the crevices in here. So add some rocks around the base of the plants. It's so pretty. All the colors and the rocks add a little pop with it.
So thank you for joining us on Moody Blooms. We have two beautiful planters that we've built for Heather's porch and they look great. I love them. I think they're so cute. They finish off my porch.